You know who's actually been playing pretty decently these last few games? Chris Weidman. Uh, as we're recording this, because by now there have been some games that have been played. I'm just looking at a 15-game stretch here. He had 14 points. And that includes a three-point night, the very first one of his career against the New Jersey Devils last week. Chris Weidman uh, has been producing these last few games. And this is a guy who knows that he needs to produce if he wants to stick around, not just with the Montreal Canadiens, but just in the NHL period. Uh, So I'll start with you, Rick. Of course, if it's a defenseman question, we've got to start with Rick. Do you think Chris Weidman will be back with the Montreal Canadiens next season? You know, uh, you got to give him full marks again for for his contribution offensively. But I, you know, I I don't believe so. I think he's a, he's a, a depth guy. I think he really lacks the ability to defend really well. Uh, but, uh, you know, with the numbers that they have back there, you know, currently and in the near future, that uh, that that space becomes pretty crowded. And I think at 32 years old, they can afford to uh, run with maybe a, a younger uh, a younger guy and give them the opportunity to develop for a longer term versus where he's at in his career. Uh, Dan, this is you. Okay, I'll say no. I think uh, Chris, listen, he realized a dream. He, I was talking to him earlier in the season. He said there was a lot of dark nights uh, in Russia when I was waiting and hoping I would be able to get back and play in the National Hockey League. He has produced a little bit. He's run the power play. It hasn't been a great power play, but I think he's done everything they've asked of him. I just think another team is going to come along and maybe offer him a little more than the Canadians because, like Rick said, there's a, there's a lot of bodies that, could fill that spot. It's always good to have defensive depth. Mark Bergevin would always say you can never have enough defensemen. But I think he'll hmm. actually get an offer somewhere else that, uh, while it won't blow his socks off, it'll be sort of too good to turn down for him. And I hope he does because he's a good guy. Yeah, I th- I think there's a decent chance of him being back next year. I don't think that he's the guy that you really want running your first wave power play. And it seems like Canadians have moved away from that anyway, trying to do a five forward power play, which is really interesting down the stretch. But you listen to St. Louis talk about Chris Weidman and how he's one of the guys that plays for the crest in the front of the jersey. You look at how ornery he's been on the ice lately, getting into fights, trying to defend guys, despite the fact that he's a little guy. I kind of like that. But as Rick said, he's not great defensively. He's a third-pairing guy who can create a little bit of offense. So he's not super important, but I do think that having a guy like that to insulate your young players a little bit is a good thing. I don't think the Canadians want to start next season with all of Justin Barron, Jordan Harris, Corey Schooneman all in the lineup, and then maybe Caden Gooley as well. Some of those guys are, the go- are going to be in the American Hockey League, and that's fine. Yeah, I think uh, some pretty good analysis from all three of you with regards to Chris Weidman. Let us know in the comments section what do you think his future will be, whether with the Montreal Canadiens or elsewhere in the National Hockey League. Because I'll say this, I think Chris Weidman has proven he can still hang around in the NHL. Also, uh, subscribe to the Hockey Inside Out newsletter, subscribe to this YouTube page, and visit HockeyInsideOut.com for more episodes.